So did Entertainment Earth make things right for me? Hey everybody and welcome back to Droob's Vids and another video and in today's video we're going to be updating you on the Entertainment Earth situation if you guys remember that video where I received the broken Kylie figure. Ooh, there we go. Man, that is dope. Oh, well, the plane just fell off. What the hell? Damn it. This is broken. So a couple things first. I emailed Entertainment Earth after I made the video and I got an automatic reply message that said it would take them three days to respond back so, or up to three business days, which is no big deal. You know, a big company like that. Okay, I could see it all well and good. I know a few people were harping on me for releasing the video before I contacted Entertainment Earth. And the thing about that is when I get these things in, I don't pre-open them. I don't pre-screen them. And you know, I open it up on camera and that's what it is. It's an unbiased review. And you know, it's something meant to be viewed as, you know, if you were to buy it, what you would expect to get. So that's what that is. I mean, I don't know why people are complaining about that. I think that's ridiculous, but it's whatever. So anyways, they gave me that three business day time frame, and they actually got back to me within two business days. So unfortunately, the rep over at Entertainment Earth, I'm not going to show you the emails or the names just to protect them and whatever. But the rep told me that the figure is sold out now, so they would not be able to replace it. I had a couple options from there. I could pack up the figure and return it to them, so I would have to rebox it, print the label, bring it to a FedEx store, drop it off, and all of that. Or they could issue me a 20% refund on the figure, and I'd still be able to keep the figure. Now, in my opinion, this figure to be able to be fixed is actually pretty easy. So I went ahead and took the 20% refund option, so I got 20% back on my purchase and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this back together. So, I mean, yeah, it sucks that it's not actually, you know, a complete figure that wasn't broken when it came in, and it does have the glue, but it's not gonna leave my collection. So, realistically, I'm not worried about it. I could see as where somebody else would be, you know, if you want that pristine figure, or just in general, you know, it's kind of the principle of the matter, which brings me to my next point that, okay, Entertainment Earth may not have known that the figure was broken before they sent it to me, it may have been a factory defect or just a poor design flaw overall. The Emma version of this figure I got was perfect and no damage, nothing, and that was good. But at the same time, I kind of just equate it to if you were to buy a product from anywhere else, it doesn't have to be a figure in general. You know, if you buy something and it's broken, what do you do? You go back to the store, you return it, you email them, you try to get your money back or something. It's not like I'm gonna go contact, you know, SH Fig Arts and be like, hey, this figure is broken. What are you going to do for me? I'm going to go to the person that sold it to me, which in this case is Entertainment Earth, and see what they're going to be able to do. You know, that was a thing too. A few people were saying that, you know, it could have been damaged from the factory or whatnot, but at the same time, Entertainment Earth is the one that sold it to me. The factory didn't sell it to me. So I go to Entertainment Earth, not the factory. It, like I said, it's just like anything else you buy, you're going to go to the person you bought it from or company you bought it from to seek you know whatever it is you're trying to get whether it be refund replacement or anything like that and in this case we got a 20 percent refund on the product which i'm completely okay with you know i'm just happy to get this whole thing behind me as far as entertainment earth goes i will not be going back to entertainment earth to buy any more figures so keep that in mind if you guys you know do want to go check out entertainment earth i'll still leave a link down in the description below to their website if you guys want to check them out you know for some people, it may be the only source they could go to to get figures, but buyer beware, they do have their mint condition guarantee, and I think that's kind of where this took into effect, so I was able to get that 20% refund on it, so that's pretty good. I'm glad they did work with me on this issue, so, you know, like I said, I could have returned it completely and not had the figure at all for a full refund, which for some people would be an option, but for me... I was just going to be able to glue it back together and make it one whole piece and be fine with it and just take that little bit of money back, which basically, I guess, kind of just made it free shipping at this point. So that 20% really was just <laughs> the cost of the shipping, kind of what it turned out to be. So yeah, speaking of putting this figure back together, we'll head over to the table real quick and I'll show you how I do that. It's not a big deal, just a couple drops of super glue there and put it back together. So this is where the part actually broke off there on the figure and we don't really want glue right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put our glue in this little groove so that way we could attach the figure there and it'll be much cleaner. 
So you know, you kind of just get your favorite glue there. I like to typically use a gel type because it's kind of less of a mess when you get everything together. You don't really have much cleanup. So we're just going to go ahead and put it there in the groove, just like that. Just a little bit of do you. You don't need too much. Like I said, you don't want to have too much to clean up either, but you want to have enough for it to adhere. So we're going to go ahead and get that in there. And then we'll go ahead and attach the plane back on to the broken piece there, just like that. And then we'll let it dry for a little bit and then see what we get. So here we have it. We got the Kylie figure now that is all glued together and you know, we're all good here. So, you know, everything looks fine now. Glue's holding it up well. It dried already. So didn't have anything really to clean up because of that gel glue, which is really nice. I enjoy using that if I ever need to on more than just figures because I like the aspect of not having to clean up a whole lot. And the gel really kind of, you know, a small groove like that, it'll help fill it out, you know, and help you adhere the pieces better together. So yeah, we got it all fixed up now and I'm happy with that. So there have it, folks, that was what happened with Entertainment Earth there and kind of just the process that I went through and how to fix the figure. I guess you could probably use this as a guide kind of to fix other figures if you have any that are broken or damaged you might be able to fix it the same way but if not you can always reach out to me on instagram or email me and i could try and help you out with what you're trying to do as far as a broken figure goes and with that being said let me know down in the comments below what you thought of entertainment earth's handling of the situation and yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video